This video covers the auditing of the organization's manufacturing process. In this video, we specifically hone in on the effective auditing of statistical process control. Watch this video and identify whether the auditor audits this activity effectively. So I saw from this process earlier that you guys are doing SPC on this uh, particular part. Yep. Can you show me uh, the checks you do, how often you do them, and how you record the results? Yeah, okay, so I have to measure five parts every hour according to my work instructions, and then I record them on this sheet. Then what I do is I put them onto a, an Expo and R chart. And what is the frequencies of checks after that? Uh, must be five parts every hour after that. Uh, can I see the chart from the reading yeah, today? Yeah, so if I pull it up on the, on the machine here, so this is the actual chart for this particular length. Alright, uh, so looking there, it doesn't look like there were any readings about 11 o'clock today? Uh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it's probably because I operate two machines, you see, so probably at 11 o'clock I was on the other machine, so I didn't get a chance to do the SPC checks on this machine at that time. So that's probably why they're not there. Uh, so I also see this point is above the uh, point listed. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's, that, that's what we call a warning limit. It's, it's nowhere near specification. So to be honest, I'm not worried about that at all. It's okay, it's only a warning limit. Okay, and uh, how do you record the action you took? Um, we don't actually record actions we take on the chart. So there's no record of actions on the chart at all. Okay, um, and what's the process capability level of this process? Ooh, I couldn't, I really couldn't answer that question. Maybe you need to talk to the process engineer. He would probably be able to explain that to you better. Okay, thank you. I'm going to follow up with the engineer and the quality manager. Okay, no problem. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Let's summarize. The good thing is the auditor is on the shop floor to audit the effective deployment and use of statistical process control. From the information collected so far, it appears that the person being audited does not understand basic statistical concepts. This relates to IETF requirement 9.1.1.3. The action taken to address the special causes has not been recorded and checks were not being performed at the correct frequency. In this audit, the auditor does not refer to the process FMEA or the control plan to verify that the inspection frequency matches that that is defined in the operator work instruction. Let's summarize the key learning points. When an auditor in an IETF 16949 audit audits statistical process control, they should be auditing the effective deployment and use by all the relevant employees and they should be ensuring that people understand basic statistical concepts. In any manufacturing audit, auditors should always refer to the process FMEA and the control plan and then look at the linkage to any relevant work instructions. For more information, visit the website in the description and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.